Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's learn how to display data as a list in Material UI. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder, muilist.tsx. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. I'm also going to import the box component and use it instead of the div tag. On this box, I'm going to add the SX prop and specify a width and a background color. Width is 400 pixels and background color EF, EF, EF. Now to create a list, we need to import a couple of components. At the top, import list, list item, and list item text from material UI. Within the box component, we can invoke the three components in the same hierarchy. List, list item, list item text. On the list item text component, we specify the primary prop and assign the text to be displayed. Let's specify list item one as the text. I'm going to make a copy of this list item only and paste it two more times. I'll change the text to list item two and three. If we now save the file, include it in app component, and head to the browser, we should be able to see the list being displayed. This is the most basic list you can create in Material UI. Now let's take a look at a few additions to our list component. First, we have the list item icon component, which can be used to add an icon to the list item. At the top, import list item icon, and let's also import one icon for use. So import mail icon from material UI. Now within each list item, we can specify list item icon, mail icon. Take a look at the browser. And we have a fancy list of items with icon and text. To customize this list further, we can add an avatar instead of just the icon. At the top, import list item avatar and avatar components. Now wrap the mail icon with avatar and wrap avatar with list item avatar. If you now take a look at the browser, we have an avatar at the start of the list. Of course, the avatar can contain initials or even images like we have seen before. Now, if you have ample amount of space in your list, you can also add secondary text. So on the list item text component, specify secondary is equal to secondary text. Same on list item two and three. Take a look at the browser and we can see the secondary text being displayed below the primary text. For our next customization, let's turn the first list item into a clickable button. For that, import the list item button component and nest it inside list item. If we now head to the browser, you can see the list item is now clickable. But the alignment seems to be incorrect. To fix this, you'll need to add disable padding on the list item component. So disable 
padding, head back to the browser, and you can see the alignment is now perfect. Now the final component is the divider component, which can be used to separate the items. Import divider and add it in between the list item components. Take a look at the browser and you can see the separation between the list items. So these are all the components you need to build a list with Material UI. Of course, the content inside each list item is up to your imagination. They can contain checkboxes, switches, and many other components. There are a few such examples in the Material UI docs, so please feel free to go through them when you have the time. What you have learned in this video would have set you up to understand the different examples. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.